when we're teaching the letter M and N and obviously H and R and all those ones that need the going over, actually the number that this links to is the number three. But children find the number three really difficult to do because of the, the vertical. If you turn it like this, then it makes the child, the mark, a lot easier to make. I call this the hump, and I'm thinking camel. Uh, <laughs> was worried. Uh, and don't forget under humps as well. So for this one, we're going to get our hump on. There's a different hold for the flipper flapper for this one. It's a bit more complex. It's more of a grip. For this one. Okay, let's get the hump going. Woo! Look at that one, it's massive! Woohoo! Two! Should we add a bit of movement to our hump? I just don't want to trip over. Are we ready? <laughs> Don't forget we've got under humps, everyone. Oh, they're very heavy. <laughs> Have you got two? Woo! shaving foam and um, because like we were saying about adult lead if I put the kinds of shaving foam out I don't think anybody would squeeze them out and make them look as beautiful as this so when I'm on my tables outside I have the foam outside I do it in different shapes double rainbows there on the table uh, and getting them to do the hump on the table so if the foam's in the shape of the squiggle it's a good start point by the end it looks wrecked but also it's great for colour mixing in there and then going on your cardboard behind and doing all that behind.